what's up guys how you guys doing today welcome to run my crypto today we're going to be going over some um, information for you beginner investors what to do during these uh, sideways markets and how to prepare yourself for the future in crypto how to build your portfolio what to look for things to look for in a project and i hope you guys enjoy this video remember to like and subscribe and smash that bell notification if you want to see more videos like this all right guys here we go hey guys so one of the first things that i like to look into when i'm looking at projects are the project white papers White papers basically give you an idea of what the project is entailed of, what uh, some of the long-term goals are, some of the uh, transaction data that you need to know, tokenomics and all that good stuff. So the white papers are really telltale signs of what the projects are really about, what type of longevity they can provide. So these are very, very, very specific um, details that... Uh, should give you that edge whether you want to invest in a project or pass on a project all right so white papers really really key to look into uh tons of information so hopefully you guys have a lot of patience and you should because it's your hard earned money you go work your ass off for that money you better better put in the work to 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 find out if you really want to invest in a project or not uh, because you just don't want to be throwing away money all right so i'm gonna go ahead and go cover a couple projects uh white papers all right first one is the best one <laughs> in my opinion this is not financial advice so do not buy or sell anything that i talk about but let it be entertainment to your ears and your eyes to help you realize what project you want to capitalize in all right so ripple xrp so <clears throat> this is a ripple xrp white paper like i said it goes through framework uh what an open ledger is uh some of the formalizations uh ripple's consensus algorithm basically how it operates and what type of uh, blockchain environment it sits on all right so that is ripple's white paper so we're going to go into another project solana uh, this is Solana's white paper. Solana's been around for quite some time. So this thing is like a Bible. All right. It gives you an idea of what Solana is built on, the history, um, some of the descriptions. Again, how the blockchain is set up. <clears throat> time step and events, uh, otherwise known as roadmap. Okay. So whenever you see like newer projects that have roadmaps, uh, basically... Uh, these two uh, catalysts, your XRP Solana, this is set up in a formality of back in the day. Um, so you'll see these are more detailed, more robust. Um, seems like uh, the newer projects like to get away from that robust settings on their white paper. But you know what I'm saying? It's, uh, it's what you look at and uh, what you, you know, the information that you're reading is going to be feasible uh, for you to make that decision on how you if you want to invest in a project okay all right so let's look at this meme coin that everybody is talking about pepe white paper what yes they actually do have a white paper all right so this uh, some of their uh, white paper information is very vague um, obviously it's just a meme token so there's not much to it all right so um Let's look at this one. So if we go to their roadmap. Okay. So this gives you a little bit of an idea of what they're uh, planning to do. Uh, looks like they're just trying to gain holders and uh, build their community. Uh, launch on a centralized exchange and decentralized exchange, which are already taking place. And then collaborate and look for more marketing strategies. So very, like I said, very vague. Um, that that goes to show you what the project looks like. All right. Also, one of my favorites, but started off as a meme coin, but uh, definitely is not a meme coin now. They have a lot of utility. Um, they are a little stagnant right now, but I'll tell you what. 
um, big projects go stagnant for quite some time. And I'm see we've seen this with Solana, we've seen this with Ethereum, uh, we've seen this with uh, XRP. Obviously, XRP is in a different situation. They would have been in a better place had they not been sued by the SEC. However, I believe that is coming to an end soon, hopefully this month, and then we'll see XRP jump to the moon. So keep go through my videos, check out my XRP videos. There's a lot of information in there so you guys can see uh, what I feel like XRP is going to do within the next couple years um, and where they'll be sitting. All right, so Shiba Inu ecosystem, all right? So this is one of the coins that actually got me into crypto. So uh, whether or not I like their project or not, uh, this is always going to hold a soft spot in my, soft spot in my heart. Uh, this is the coin that got me involved in the crypto, and uh, I owe it to this coin uh, for me doing my thing today. All right, so here's the white paper for Shiba Inu. So a lot of information talks about their decentralization, uh, a little bit of their background. Okay, um, so uh, why they built on Ethereum is pretty good it's a nice little read right here it tells you uh, uh, some of their joint ventures that they had with Ethereum I think uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar but they did give over 50% of their total supply to Voltilic pure whatever his name is <laughs> I don't know whatever but anyways they gave homeboy that runs Ethereum 50% of their total supply and I don't know what he did with it I think he gave it away or burned most of it some of that can look into that at your own leisure my bad that i that i murdered your name um but anyways uh yeah it is what it is all right so the shiba swap tokenomics and i think should i don't know if it's updated or not but they should have shibirium up in here all right so goes through some of the the SHIB uh, staking mechanisms, their pool, liquidity pools that they have available, and so on and so forth. So white papers are truly one of the first things you want to look at, see what the project's made of, see what the project has set before it. And uh, these, this is, uh, like I said, one of the key items that you need to do and you need to look into when looking into a crypto project all right so let's move on to the next uh key item that you need to understand when investing in crypto all right guys this is one of my favorite places to be coin market cap because it always gives you the information about your market caps how much volume is going into these coins and what they've done historically and what they are current currently doing today all right so all you got to do is type in the coin that you want to look up <clears throat> so we'll go take uh, xrp for example not because it's my favorite because it's my favorite all right so uh looking at xrp today we're sitting at about 54 cents with 28 billion dollar market cap 772 million dollars of volume flowing into xrp if we look on the seven day it looks like we had some upwards movement starting off at about 47 cents and sitting at 54 cents so we are getting some upward movement with xrp within the last seven days which will continue and probably go sideways uh, however understanding this information about the actual token is also key to <clears throat> to understand whether or not you should get involved or invest in a crypto token all right so let's look at the total supply that's also important total supply is 99 billion um, with a max supply of 100 billion 50 percent of these are in circulation right now currently so you have 51 billion xrp in circulation all right so that's a those are key understandings so looking at the all-time high that's also important see you need to understand where we're sitting at today today we're sitting at about 42 cents all-time high was roughly about three dollars and uh, yeah about three dollars and nine cents so <clears throat> if you were to take where we are today and go to your all-time high definitely looking at an easy 10x 
on your investment in the next bull run so the way that crypto works is it goes in and out of waves right just like the stock market you have your bottoms and then your tops and then your bottom and then your top and then your bottom and then we should be seeing a top by 2025 guys so right now is the best time to dca dollar cost average build your portfolio that means put some money into your portfolio at least every week or every two weeks or every month <clears throat> whatever you could afford to lose never go over above your means and keep continuously doing that and be consistent with it discipline yourself to your investment not to the token and when that bull market hits you'll be able to take some profits all right that's important too you never want to let this thing just sit there for ages because you're going to watch your money go up and you're going to watch your money go down so those are the important things that i think um, that are key to to understand before investing in crypto all right guys hope you guys like this little video that i put together for you on how to invest and just the type of information that you need to uh, help you make that decision on what crypto to invest in um, all right guys so like remember like and subscribe leave me some comments anything that i could do better for you guys i love you all stay blessed and i'll see you on the next video hopefully take care all right guys this is one of my favorite places to be coin market cap because it always gives you the information about your market caps how much volume is going into these coins and what they've done historically and what they are current currently doing today all right so all you got to do is type in the coin that you want to look up <clears throat> so we'll go take uh, xrp for example not because it's my favorite because it's my favorite all right so uh looking at xrp today we're sitting at about 54 cents with 28 billion dollar market cap 772 million dollars of volume flowing into xrp if we look on the seven day it looks like we had some upwards movement starting off at about 47 cents and sitting at 54 cents so we are getting some upward movement with xrp within the last seven days which will continue and probably go sideways uh, however understanding this information about the actual token is also key to <clears throat> to understand whether or not you should get involved or invest in a crypto token all right so let's look at the total supply that's also important total supply is 99 billion uh, with a max supply of 100 billion 50 percent of these are in circulation right now currently so you have 51 billion xrp in circulation all right so that's a those are key understanding so looking at the all-time high that's also important see you need to understand where we're sitting at today today we're sitting at about 42 cents all-time high was roughly about three dollars and uh, yeah about three dollars and nine cents so <clears throat> if you were to take where we are today and go to your all-time high definitely look at an easy 10x on your investment in the next bull run so the way that crypto works is it goes in and out of waves right just like the stock market you have your bottoms and then your tops and then your bottom and then your top and then your bottom and then we should be seeing a top by 2025 guys so right now is the best time to dca dollar cost average build your portfolio that means put some money into your portfolio at least every week or every two weeks or every month <clears throat> whatever you could afford to lose never go over above your means and keep continuously doing that and be consistent with it discipline yourself to your investment not to the token and when that bull market hits you'll be able to take some profits all right that's important too you never want to let this thing just sit there for ages because you're going to watch your money go up and you're going to watch your money go down so those are the important things that i think um, that are key to to understand before investing in crypto all right guys hope you guys like this little video that i put together for you on how to invest and just the type of information that you need to uh, help you make that decision on what crypto to invest in um, all right guys so like remember like and subscribe leave me some comments anything that i could do better for you guys i love you all stay blessed and i'll see you on the next video hopefully take care